Splash ended up winning game one, 65 to 47, and one game closer to winning the $200,000. Splash takes game one. Woo, by a big margin of victory. In game two, Swaggy P. Holmes locked in on the offensive side of the ball to keep pace with Splash. In the second quarter, Swaggy caught fire with Jalen Rose and hit back-to-back -back threes for an 18-16 lead. After getting a defensive stop, Swaggy hit a mid-range jumper with Lonzo Ball to go up four. But Splash replied with a mid-range jumper by Chris Mullen to cut the deficit to three at 20-23. To close out the first half, Swaggy took it up strong to the rack with Kobe to take it 25 to 20 lead at the half. It's half time now. Uh, let's talk about the changes that Swaggy has made. Uh, not giving in, in the this three. Game. Yeah, he's not giving up. away from the post and towards the perimeter, we're seeing more teams employ three-guard lineups to great effect, trading some size for skill. We'll see if the trend continues, but guys, for now, it seems that even if there's only one ball, having multiple ball handlers can be very effective. A very interesting, Alec. Good stuff there. Thank you. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Drew Holiday. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. So a look at our starters for the Wizards. Kyle Kuzma out there with Buddy Heald. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then it's Thomas Bryant. And for the Bucks, Holiday and DiVincenzo man the backcourt. Giannis and Portis are in the middle. And it's Nuora in at the small forward position. And tonight, two of the more methodical offenses in the league, Grant. With so many teams going fast, what makes teams go slow? Well, you know, it could be a number of things. You have lumbering big men and efficient half-court offense. Also, if you have a lockdown defense, and you can sometimes use that to control pace to tighten their clamps. Now here's Heal. Kuzma outside. Clock at six. Back to Heal. Goes back up. That shot missing. And Milwaukee will come the other way. The Wizards beat them last time when these two met in Washington. And I'll tell you what, what a surprising result. Losing to an underdog is one thing, but getting blown out is quite another. Almost beyond belief. I mean, even on a bad night, you think they'd at least be competitive. And the Wizards with possession here. After the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. Here's Nora. Misses off the right iron. For Washington, they've gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. And Dante DiVincenzo is going to pick up the foul. 
That's, that's his, his first, first foul. foul. A foul first right foul. off the bat. You hate to pick up your first one so quick. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Bryant, right side. Healed on the wing. Fires the three. Their focus next trip has to be getting a high-quality shot. I mean, they don't want to start the game 0 for 5. Out of Kumpo, the pass to Holiday. And he lobs it up top. And Holiday takes yeah. this responsibility seriously. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to them. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Just five to shoot. Antetokounmpo with the block. A defensive player of the year winner. Antetokounmpo affects so many shots with his length. And how about the mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. For Milwaukee, they've gone two of three to get this one going. As a center, Thomas Bryant is usually all about point blank shots, but he's got some pretty impressive accuracy, making him a real modern big. Here's Holiday. Misses in close. Washington has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Beal from outside. Oh, almost had a four point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. It's on Dante DiVincenzo. Yeah, Thomas Bryant is a guy that really shoots it well from range, C. Red. Certainly a threat at the arc and in the paint. And he's consistent as a shooter. I mean, back in 2018, he was shot 14 for 14 in the single. Three shots. And he makes a first. Oh, man, such a lethal score. Bradley Bill continues to improve. I mean, in addition to his scoring, a capable passer, and he's focused on becoming a better playmaker as well. Smart's checked in for the Bucks. On the second one, and Beal doesn't just look to score, he also looks to involve his guys. Yeah, B.A., and that's what real leadership is, and it's coming from Beal. I mean, knowing this will help team chemistry, wanting to make his teammates better players. And he nails the third. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Holiday, the shot off that time. And Washington the other way now. Outside heel, pass to Beal, over Smart. And again, Washington, no good. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. Smart outside. Here's Nora. Three pointer. Another miss. He's 0 for 2 now. Washington trailing. To the inside. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three second call. For Milwaukee, they've gone two of six from the floor. Anadokounmpo finds Portis. And it's Anadokounmpo off the drive. And Giannis throws it down. When Giannis starts to drive, the defense knows it's in trouble. He powers right through them. Beal against Smart. Takes one from 10 feet, and it's off the back of the rim. No good. The Bucks have gone three of seven so far. Kept alive. Portis. And then Portis 
with the dunk. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. This is why his teammates respect him. The hustle, the energy. You gotta love it. No good on the fadeaway. Good idea with the fadeaway. But the defense was just all over it. Releases. Bradley Beal puts it in. There's no way that's the best look this offense can produce. Come on, you can't be selfish. You gotta be willing to make the next pass. Otherwise, you're just predictable. Pass to Bryant. Beal outside. The three. The Wizards with another miss. Milwaukee in the lead. Outside Holiday. Otto Kumpo against Heel. Holiday from long range. Good. And Otto Kumpo gets the assist. Holiday's got five now. With balance and good rhythm, Holiday serves as an effective catch and shoot player. Smart against Beal. And here's Smart. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And he converts the layup. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets. Now a timeout called by Washington. The last game matched up with the Grizzlies. A tough loss there. There was just no sense of urgency to hit the offensive glass. They have to be disappointed in the lack of second chance points. Second chance points. It's not a great indicator of which team won in the hustle department. And tonight, they didn't win that battle. A different look for Milwaukee. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. Wagner comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's Johnson in for Nora. Here's Avdia. Here's Gafford. Count it. A great float of that possession. Two players totally in sync with each other. Johnson passes to Holiday. Back to Johnson. Over Avdia. And too long on the shot. Washington's gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Here's Beal. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. He's got five. He's 1 for 4 to start the game. Now, I know he's disappointed with that, but we got a long way to go. Here's Smart. Takes it inside. That shot off the mark. Nice D from Beal. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And it's important that Wagner plays with confidence. I mean, this is only going to help him get better over time. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Bucs? Well, they've carried out a great game plan in the paint so far, working it down low a lot and getting high percentage looks. You know what else, guys? Defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight and turn them into points. The first one falls. And over the course of a long regular season, does a coach need to keep things new and interesting? Or is it better to be consistent and stick to the same message? You know, well, I think consistency, B.A., is helpful as far as roles and, and your team's philosophy. Off the court is where having fun and keeping uh, loose can, can pay those dividends. Sumner's checked in for Bradley Beal. So he gets them both. And Washington has possession. Eight-point game. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Sumner. Hachimura up top. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. That is a tough bucket. Hachimura stays with the shot through the contact. That's the sign of a resilient offensive play. Now here's Holiday. Really had his troubles in the loss to Chicago. He just couldn't find his rhythm. Smart for three. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Smart's got five. They don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Pass to Achimura. Back to Dinwiddie. Inside. And the basket by Achimura. Well, look at Achimura making good use of his He goes up inside and reaches through to his shot. Outside Holiday. Washington foul. Spencer Dinwiddie. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul.
they're smart. They get it again. Lopez. Second shot opportunity. And it's good on the lay-in. And the Bucks lead by nine. Look, I love to see more of this for Lopez. He has the size to be a force of the Bucks. Pass to Achimura. Holiday against Dinwiddie. Throws it up high. Down to five on the shot clock. To the middle. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Pass to Sumner. Now here's Gafford. He's coming off a 10-point game against Memphis. And he also contributed a couple blocks, too. Just a glimpse at the impact he had on defense. Milwaukee has gone 2 of 3 from 3-point land so far. Outside Holiday. And there's the call on Rui Achimura. And that's his first foul of the game. Anadokounmpo has checked in for the Bucks. Third team foul. Now into the lineup for your Bucks. Thanasis Anadokounmpo. Out of bounds. It'll be Washington's ball. Wizards ball. Here's Denwitty. 17 points in his last outing. To the wing, right side. Gafford with the ball. Wagner's on it. Now Gafford. Providing this team some offensive stability. A little over 10 points a game. Out to Achimura. Pass to Abdia. Back to Achimura. Another shot. Shot clock at six. Rebounded by the Bucks. This game coming after a loss versus the Bulls. Hey, they had their chances, but they struggled from the line. It's so hard to win that way on someone else's floor. And maybe the crowd had an effect on them. I mean, who knows? I mean, they looked uncomfortable at the line. Here's Avdia. 4-3. Nice start for him. Taking his first shot. Now the court awareness improving over time. Hachimura demonstrating some nice passing instincts there. Holiday with the ball. He's got five. Denwitty with a rebound. He'll breathe a big sigh of relief as they hang on to win this game. He's not done much to contribute tonight. Hachimura with the ball. Guarded by Anadokounmpo. Here's Denwitty. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Great D that time from Anadokounmpo. Milwaukee in the lead. Pass to Holiday. Kicks it out to Smart. Outside Johnson. Back to Wagner. From deep three-point range. The shot by Holiday. No good. His field goal percentage has dipped this quarter. I mean, his movement has to be better. He has to find the open spots on the floor. Oh, he's got to roll in this quarter. Taking it on himself to guide their offense. Now here's Smart. The drive. 43 seconds left to play in the first. Shot clock at five. Here's Holiday. And that one comes up a bit short. His touch has been off tonight. And, and, and now his judgment is off too. I mean, come on. It's not a small shot. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Now just a one-point Bucks lead. Oh, he just caught the defense napping. He shoots a very high percentage from three-point range when there's no hand in his face. Here's Smart, driving inside. Blocked! On defense, Hachimura works to utilize his wingspan. Comes after the shot with all of his reach. Here's Wagner. And the lamp is good off the glass. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Puts it up. Trying to get that one to fall. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Bucks ahead, up by three. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter.
And you ask Giannis his recipe for success, it's pretty simple. Yes, I'm going to tell you the secret. Get off social media. That's it. Just spend time with your family, spend time with your teammate, and just come here and do your job. I think uh, you don't second against yourself. You know, you just go out there and play hard and uh, give everything with the team without thinking about nothing else. He does keep a tight-knit circle, Grant. Yes, I love it. No big entourage, just family, team, and the work. And that's what he's all about. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And when you consider how the Bucks are doing, guys, your thoughts? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. No question. It's been stifling thus far, preventing that offense from establishing any kind of rhythm. We've got Dante DiVincenzo, and it's Smart in at the one. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second with. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Chris Middleton, a multiple all-star, yet always seems like he flies under the radar. Coach Bud said with how steady and subtle his game is, both defensively and offensively, he's a heck of a player that sometimes I think is underappreciated. But guys, I'd offer not by his teammates. No question, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you. Dinwiddie, no good. Dinwiddie's gone just one of five shooting from the floor. Pass to DiVincenzo. Here's Nora. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Chicago. DiVincenzo against Bryant. Three-pointer. Rebound, Washington. Outside heel. Kumpo grabs the board. The Bucks have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. DiVincenzo on the wing. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Here's Kumpo. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Kumpo has got eight points. Using his size to his advantage, Giannis is a handful to deal with close to the rim. Pass to heel. and in on the layup. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. DiVincenzo with it. Now guarded by Bryant. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And Grant, you were a big wing with skill. That type of player very much in demand in today's game. Well, I mean, today's NBA is all about versatility. Can you get it done offensively and defensively? Players with size and perimeter skills are very much invaluable to their team. First one falls for him, and the Bucks with some changes. Portis comes in for Anadokounmpo, and it's Hill in for Smart. Kuzma's checked in for Washington. Bradley Beal comes in for Dinwiddie. And he makes both free throws. Washington trailing. Kumpo covering. Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt. Outside, DiVincenzo. The drive by Honor Kumpo. The layup off target. Man, when the ball's in his hands, that's as high percentage as it gets. It's just a fluke miss. DiVincenzo with the steal. Washington foul. Number five. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Substitution for your box, Ross Lopez. Washington on D. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Here's Long. The putback. That's size winning out. I mean, he needed every single inch to hold in that one. 
Outside heel. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Bryant. That one's good for two. You got to be more physical than Bryant Williams. I mean, he's skilled at fending off contact on the way up. Here's Long. Here's Nora. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And that one drops. Uh, I like that big play. I mean, you can see how easy it makes it for him to get to the cup. Covered by Lopez. The rebound by the Bucks. They've led by as much as 10. Passed along. The three is up. Nails it from beyond the arc. And now a 10-point Bucks lead. It was just a mystery what the defense was doing there. You never want to give him that much space outside the three-point line. Bryant outside. Beal outside. He shoots over DiVincenzo. Beal shot is off. The Bucks have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Long. And he can't connect. He's one for three in this game. The Wizards have got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. Covered by Lopez. Out to heel. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Having to be careful around Lopez. He's solid in time to win the lead up to block shot. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. Now here's Bryant. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Memphis. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Down low. Can they get it? And it's finished off inside oh, by Kuzma. Kuzma's got his first points of the night. Take some strength to finish through that kind of contact. And Kuzma's definitely put in his share of work in the weight room. Here's Long. Pass to Nora. Shoots over Brian. Here's Portis. Second chance shot. Deflected. Wonderful defense from Hill right there. Gotta like seeing how he positions himself to get these blocks. Defended by Portis. From 12 feet. Rebounded by Lopez. Lopez has got four rebounds now. Passed alone. Now here's Lopez. Here's Long. Defended by Kuzma. Here's Nora from downtown. That one doesn't drop. His scoring has not been there at all. Today. It tells you a lot about their team. That they have been in the game. You know, when Buddy Heald came into the league, he joined a select list of current and former NBA players that hail from the Bahamas. It's not a long list, but it's longer than you might think. And what's incredible is Buddy did a fantastic job for the relief effort in the Bahamas after the devastating hurricane in 2017. His work to raise funds and resources for the people who were affected was so important to that entire nation. That free throw, no good. And so many young players now on their phones. Chris, they're connected to their fans and loved ones through social media. Some worry about how that affects team chemistry. How about you? Well, every guy's different. I, I never thought that it's one rule or one way for everyone. You have to let people be themselves. And, and usually guys will flourish uh, positively when they're in a great space. And Cream's going to rise to the top. We've heard of guys like Giannis swear off social media. Others we know, they probably look at their phones during halftime. It's just case by case. I mean, how about the NBA players coming out of the game? Buddy Hill was selected six overall back in 2016. A couple of years later, DeAndre Ayton, another Bahamas native uh, who went first overall. Cuts off the pass. And here's Holiday. He's got five. Pass to Johnson. Lopez. 
Lopez with it. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got his fourth rebound in this one. And here's Achimura. He misses the layup. Now here's Wagner. Achimura covering. To end the drought. Achimura with a rebound. Washington trailing. Beal outside. Pass to heel. Here's Sumner. Here's the three. Holiday grabs the miss. Oh, when the defense gets about him on the perimeter, they're playing with fire. Lucky they don't get burned here. And Washington shooting poorly. Just 29% from the floor in this game. And it's Gafford missing. Milwaukee is gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. And they get it back. Here's Wagner. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. Well, at almost seven feet. Wagner can really own the boards. Grabs the rebound and finishes the play strong. Pass to Gafford. Now here's Hachimura. Covered by Lopez. Hachimura in the post. Working on Lopez. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And with an attacking mindset and smooth style of offense, Hachimura is able to give opponents the different the looks. Wizards, Rui Hachimura. Two shots. Shooting two. Throw good, Hachimura. What a story Rui Hachimura is. The first ever Japanese-born player to be drafted in the NBA. And he's a great ambassador for our game. Anadokounmpo is checked in for Lopez. Avdia, he's checked in for Washington. Denwitty comes in for Bradley Beal. And both free throws good for Hachimura. Milwaukee in the lead. Outside, DiVincenzo over Avdia, and that one's long. And Washington with possession. Pass to Dinwiddie. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. Yeah, it was just a little late. I mean, he thought he got there, but the ref saw it otherwise. Giannis Antetokounmpo has checked in for Wagner. Milwaukee shooting 34% so far in this one. Outside, DiVincenzo. Antetokounmpo, the pass to Antetokounmpo. The shot's good. Getting the ball inside, usually a pretty good wrestle. Defensive foul, Rui Hachimura. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Milwaukee, Thanasis Adetokounmpo. Shooting one. And that one falls for Honor Kumpo. Washington shooting around 29% in quarter number two. two minutes remaining. Dinwiddie against Holiday. Dinwiddie passes to Gafford. And the dunk by Gafford. Oh, I love this guy. Even when they're trailing, he works hard to put on a show. Hey, that might be just what they need right now. Holiday passes to Honor Kumpo. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Daniel Gafford picks one up. An MVP caliber talent, the rise of Giannis from scrawny teenager to bulked up superstar has been great to watch. Giannis Antetokounmpo taking two shots.
And he drops the first. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. He makes one or two that time. And for Washington, they're shooting at 32% from the floor. Not good. Pass to Sumner. Dinwiddie outside. Got it. Good job at the low post. Dinwiddie's got four points in the quarter. Milwaukee is gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. Here's Anadokounmpo. And Gafford with the block. Pass to Dinwiddie. Here's Avdia, covered by Johnson. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on Cameron Johnson. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Denny Avdia taking two shots. Can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. Milwaukee shooting around 35% for the game. Outside Holiday. And he's going for the oop here. Stolen by Gafford. Pass to Dinwiddie. Holiday against Gafford. Now here's Dinwiddie. He's got seven. And it's Gafford missing. And the Bucks shooting at 30% here in the second. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Here's Anadokounmpo. Good on the 13-footer. Anadokounmpo's got 11 points. It's been a dominant night for him. Staying productive throughout. Dinwiddie against Holiday. Let's go with a three. And Dinwiddie good for three. He's got 10. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. The Bucks on top, up by five. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks. I'm here with head coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, how would you characterize the intensity level in that first half? Yeah, no, it's pretty intense. You know, both teams are getting after it defensively. Nothing's going to be easy, so it's the way it's supposed to be. Hopefully it continues in the second half. Thanks. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break, ready for the second half. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. A competitive matchup for Milwaukee in the first quarter. The period came to a close with them holding a three-point lead. Well, for Milwaukee, Kenny, give us your take. Efficiency, you know, I think that's big. That's a key to success. You got to protect the basketball. You can't make those risky passes that lead to highlight film dunks. So I thought it was a great job. Jack, what was your takeaway on Washington? Well, their bench production has been a major factor. Guys have been ready to go when their number is called. And it makes the second half go a lot easier on your main guys when you can spread the minutes around in the first half. And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter, just about to get started.
second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. Bringing the physicality. I mean, they kept working it to him. He kept delivering. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. So on the floor for the Wizards. Kyle Kuzma out there with Thomas Bryant. Then it's Buddy Heald. Then there's Bradley Beal. It is just a superstar doing superstar things. Antetokounmpo is lighting it up and showing the variety to his game. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. This Bucks team is arguably the most talented in franchise history. At the same time, the East has gotten tougher. So the Bucks are looking to improvise. Giannis said, quote, we're getting better, trying new things, changing our schemes. That's something we think is going to help us. Brian? Using the regular season to experiment out. Interesting. Thank you. Now here's Holiday. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Over Kuzma. And it's Anadokounmpo with the miss. Washington trailing. Come get it, come get it. Beal outside, and stolen by Antetokounmpo. Now Holiday. About a minute played here in the second half. Here's Nora. Six to shoot. Over heel. Got a piece of it. And the Wizards shooting 34% so far in this one. From eight feet away. And no good trying to use the glass. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. Well, you can't ever feel safe with Holiday on the floor. Grant, he is one of the great ball hawks in the NBA. Yeah, he reads plays very well. He has a good wingspan to swipe away errant passes. One of the many reasons Holiday is such a great defender. Heal the pass to Heal. Holiday against Heal. Outside Holiday. To the right side. Clock at six. To the paint. Anadokounmpo is doubled. Nora. Off the mark there with a three. Beal from outside. Can't get it to drop. The Bucks go the other way with it. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Following this one, they get to host the Bulls. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. Now here's Holiday. He's got five. And the call will be against Kyle Kuzma. That's his first foul. Here's Anadokounmpo. 15 points in the game. Here's Portis. I mean, that 7 6 wingspan, Brian is packing, just smothers you, completely cutting off your shot. Beal against Steven Chenzo. Outside heel. Six on the shot clock. The Wizards need to get off a shot here. Well, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. This is not the start they wanted coming out of the break. 0 for 3 so far, and they're not playing with much intensity. The Bucs have got just 2 of 6 in the second half. Timeout called the Bucs. He recognized his players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. Here's Anadokounmpo. He's given them steady production at over 27 points a game. Pass to heel. Now here's Bryant. And here's Heald. Five to shoot. And another 
miss by Washington. I don't know what they drew up at halftime, but it ain't working. Open for the stock. Oh boy, I'll tell you, when Holiday shifts gears, he quickly leaves people behind. The Wizards have gone 0 for 4. Not the way they want to start the second half. Hey, yo, right here. DiVincenzo against Beal. The shot, no good. For Milwaukee, they've gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Outside heel. Bryant outside. Pass to heel. Here's Beal. Trying to get back on track. Anacupo grabs the board. Anacupo's got four rebounds now. Holiday against Heel. And there's Holiday. That's good. On the assist from Anacupo. A long, wiry combo guard. Holiday can make some acrobatic finishes. Here's Beal. Anacupo with the block. Beal's hey, shot is good. Here's Holiday. He's got nine. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Out to the right wing. Here's Nora. Second chance effort. Outside Holiday. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Milwaukee. They played a heads-up brand of basketball this entire game. And they've got the steals to prove it. Their second chance points have been a story all night as well. That's just pure hustle. And the first one at the line is good. Lopez, he's checked in for the Bucks. Wagner comes in for Anadokounmpo. Avdia, he's checked in for Washington. Denwitty comes in for Bradley Beal. Holiday hits them both. Washington with the ball. Trailing by 13. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. He's covered by Holiday. Some solid defense from Holiday. I hate to say it. He's dragging them down. Not a single bucket. Come on, man. Showing unbelievable agility in the air. When he's working with the lead, now he's got a chance to put the style on. To the middle. Bryant with the bucket. Thomas. Bryant's got his second bucket on the night. Nice to see Bryant play to his strength. He's powerful, and he can get his way inside. Outside, DiVincenzo. Pass to Nora. Takes a three. The rebound by the Wizards. Kuzma's got a rebound number five here tonight. Well, he has to work harder to get a Spencer good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots. Who knows what this score would look like if he wasn't on his game tonight. Now here's Holiday. 11 points in the game. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his third personal foul. That'll belong to Kyle Kuzma. Man, the defender really the went after him. For Milwaukee, Drew Holiday. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And the Bucks making a change here. Johnson's checked in. And so he hits both. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Washington's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. 
Dinwiddie against DiVincenzo. And it's good for two. Dinwiddie's gotten four this quarter. He's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other guys need to lighten the load and step up. Wagner with it. Gafford picks him up. And Gafford with the block. Here's Avdia. Over to the wing. Dinwiddie outside. Shot clock at six. Pass to Sumner. There's the three. The offensive rebound. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Johnson. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Washington. Daniel Gafford. At the line for two. down the first one. It's both from the stripe. Milwaukee in the lead. Holiday with the ball. 13 points in the game. Oh, there's the alley. It's Avdia on the wing. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Gafford. Here's Avdia. Just five on the clock. That one goes in. Abdi has got six. Uh, look, that's a nice play. You need low post scoring to keep you off his balance. DiVincenzo, pass to Holiday. Pass to Lopez. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And the Wizards with possession here. And Washington with possession. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. And there's the lob. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Wagner. Anacumpo's checked in for the Bucks. Kispert's checked in for Washington. Here's Avdia. He has six. Five on the clock. Tries again. And finished off by Gafford as he lays it in. Gafford's got four points this quarter. This has been a close game in a lot of ways. But they do have an edge on the boards. And here's Holiday. He's got 13. And it's on to Kumpo with the miss. Pass to Kispert. And there's the drive. Banked it in off the glass. And now just a three-point Bucks lead. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Outside, DiVincenzo. Soft touch off the glass. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Then Woody against Holiday. Now here's Dinwiddie. The D's right on him. The rebound by the Bucks. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Down low. Left side, DiVincenzo. Two minutes in the third. Two A minute 58 left in the third quarter. Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. Pass to Dinwiddie. Hachimura outside. Now here's Dinwiddie. 
And here's Achimura. On an Akumpo covering. And here's Kispert from the arc. And he can't get that one. Good work defensively by DiVincenzo. And a full four years of college play, Grant, makes Corey Kispert something of a rarity in the modern league. And I'm glad you brought that up, B.A., because, you know, that time really paid off for him. He only got better over those seasons, becoming even more confident of a marksman. And it's Hachimura missing. Milwaukee has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. Three One free throw ball. coming up. Corey Kispert. That's his first person. Nance, he's checked in for Drew Holiday. At the line for the box. Mo Wagner. One shot. One shot. Washington trailing. Then when he passes to Beal. Out to heel. Good D by Ana de Kumpo. The D making that layup look very uncomfortable for him. Good aggressive work down low. Wagner with it. And it's heel picking him up. Outside, DiVincenzo. Three-pointer off the mark. Well, the Wizards shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. Seven-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Heald. Blocked! Oh, how about the physical abilities of Wagner? I mean, they make him a potent defender. Mercilessly denies the shot. Inside, Gafford passes to Beal. Shot to end the cold streak. And he lays it in. Beal's got nine. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. And so it's Milwaukee leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. We'll be right back. And now let's take a listen in on head coach Mike Budenholzer. Keep driving it. Get to the free throw line. Keep playing without fouling. Everybody rebound. Get a rebound. Get a rebound. Mike Budenholzer imploring his team to be aggressive on both ends, but to stay smart about it. Yeah, he wants them to get to the free throw line, but at the same time wants to keep the other team from doing so. <laughs> Tough balancing act. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Giannis and Portis are in the middle. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Cameron Johnson. And it's Nuora in at the three. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got 11 rebounds in the game. Up top, Beal. Ana de Kumpo covering. Rejected by Ana de Kumpo. Pass to Nora. Here's DiVincenzo. To the inside. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. The coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy baskets like this. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, he just hit a rough patch. He's trying to climb out of it, but it hasn't been successful. Now here's Johnson. Pass to Portis. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his second personal foul. So many times Giannis forces his man into a foul. As a defender, you can't give him anything easy. That leads to a lot of contact. Taking two shots. Oh. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. The Bucks making a switch here. Holiday is checked in. And the Wizards making a change here. And so Anadokounmpo nails both of them. We've gone about a minute and a half into this fourth quarter. DiVincenzo against Beal. Hope loose. DiVincenzo with the steal. Anadokounmpo outside. Can't get it to fall. The Wizards have got none of their shots to go in this final quarter. 0 for 4. Rejected by Anadokounmpo. Down low. From 8 feet away. Rebound by the Wizards. Bryant's got his 7th rebound of the game with that last one. to Beal. Just five on the clock. Fires for three. The rebound by the Bucks. Portis has got his sixth rebound on the night. You hate to pile on, but his poor shooting night has really hurt the team. DiVincenzo on the wing. Portis down low. Hounded by Beal. Porter's shot is off. He hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. The good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. This has been a tough quarter for him and a challenging game for this team. Now here's Portis. DiVincenzo on the wing. And he's going for the lob! Now that's a textbook alley -oop. I thought he'd go for the slam, but that worked. Washington's gone 0 for 3 here in the 4th. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. The Wizards with another miss. The Bucks have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Right side, even Chenzo. Pass to Nora. Ana de Kumpo with it. Hounded by Beal. Here's Nora. And a great assist by Ana de Kumpo. And that one goes in. And the Bucks lead by 15. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. You look at Giannis Antetokounmpo. What a contribution. He's going to force this out. They don't commit more bodies down low. He's going to keep destroying them in the paint. Lopez, he's checked in for the Bucks. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Over the last break, I got a chance to hear what Washington's head coach said to the team. He did everything he could to fire the team up, saying, quote, I don't care how far down we are. We can do this. Attack and take what's ours. Let's go out there and show them it's not over. Ali, thank you. Here's Holiday. After the basket by Washington. And the layup is good. Holiday's got 10 points in just the second half. In the NBA, you let anyone shoot inside five feet, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. DiVincenzo covering. Hauled in by DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo's got six rebounds here tonight. To the paint. On to Kumpo. He's been great in this one. Nine for 15 after that shot. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Up top, Beal. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Beal's gotten four this quarter. Oh, you love how Beal rises over the D. He loves out muscling them at every turn. Here's Milwaukee. They're on a 13 to four run. Pass to Holiday. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Second team ball. Now, 
DiVincenzo, hounded by Beal. Just four to shoot. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. That's his fourth personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Milwaukee, Dante DiVincenzo. Two shots. Shoot two. And he drops the first. Both good from the line that time. Washington has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. He's covered by Holiday. Doesn't go that time. There's aggressive and then there's trying to do too much. His scoreless effort is hurting this team. Pass to Lopez. That one no good. And Washington the other way now. And here's Heald. Back to Bryant. Over Holiday. Bryant, no good. Here's Milwaukee. They're on a 15 to 4 run. And on a Kumpo, here we go. Second chance effort. And the layup good by Lopez. Lopez. Use the D tied down. Lopez is good at exploiting the D and down in the shot. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Kuzma against Honor de Kumpo. Oh, oh wow! Oh, oh. Incredible! Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Oh, look at Hill's unselfish approach. He's working to find everyone in the not just himself. Here's Honor de Kumpo. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got three assists now in this one. A difficult situation for Washington. Beal outside. Get there, get there. Rebounded by Lopez. Yeah, just hasn't been able to find his rhythm offensively. And that's having a ripple effect. Holiday passes to Lopez. Shoots over Beal. No good off the back of the rim. Washington shooting only 31% in the game. Pass to Bryant. Outside heel. Six to shoot. Bryant, the pass to heel. The three. The rebound by the Bucks. Here's Nora. Lopez in the post. Yep, that one's good. And the Bucks lead by 21. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Kuzma outside. And he lobs it up to the rim. Throw it down on the lob. We've seen Bill evolve as a playmaker, including how he spots his open teammates. Outside Holiday. Pass to Ana de Kumpo. Here's Nora. Good. And Ana de Kumpo gets the assist. Ana de Kumpo has got assist number five here tonight. Beal outside. Well, over the last few years, the NBA has worked to make the schedule more manageable, Chris. That includes fewer back-to-backs. Yeah, and, and for us fans, uh, that's been a great adjustment. Uh, those back-to-backs, uh, you know, they can be a struggle at times. We want to make sure the players are out there, especially on the road, so that the fans can come see them. Timeout called the Bucks. You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. 
And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. Yeah, really the standout element of this game tonight was his offense and his ability to get inside by cutting the defense to shreds, finding lanes, even making them, and relentlessly attacking the hoop. And the Wizards making a change here. Denwitty's checked in. And the basket by Holiday. Holiday's got four points in the quarter. And the Wizards shooting just 28% during this fourth quarter. Outside heel. Dinwiddie outside. Up top, Beal. DiVincenzo covering. They grab their own miss. Heel from outside. The shot comes out. A rough game for him scoring the ball. Just can't seem to get it going. Dinwiddie against Holiday, and they double up on it at Kumpo. Back to Holiday. This one for three. Dinwiddie with a rebound. Dinwiddie's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Bryant, and then Bryant with the dunk. Well, I settle for the layup when you can jam. Bryant rocking the rim with some force there. To the middle. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Oh, Giannis dunks it home. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Bucks. They were the more accurate club. And in the end, that made the difference, Grant. Yeah, B.A., you have to love their strategy. And even more, you love the execution. And reaching a nice milestone, an even 20 wins on the year. And they've now won themselves a 2-1 to advantage in this season series. We'll see if it's the same story when these two meet one last time. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Giannis Antetokounmpo. When his defense gave them the spark, they needed Beal. protecting the rim Three with points. purpose. They were afraid to bring the ball inside against the big fella. Antetokounmpo, the pass to Holiday. 36 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Puts it up from 15. Here's Lopez. And a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. Now that's why they're in the driver's seat right now, looking to put this one away. Now here's Heal. Back to Dinwiddie. Over Holiday, and there's Dinwiddie. That one's good. On the assist by Heal. Willing passers, unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Outside Holiday. And so it's Milwaukee easily grabbing this one. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Giannis, a tremendous performance. What enabled you to win this game so convincingly? Uh, it was a team effort. I think we came out. We did not mess around with the game. We, came, we did our job. We defended. We moved the ball. That's why we were able to uh, close the game. Giannis always recognizing the importance of his teammates. Thanks so much, Giannis. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Chris Weber, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. We appreciate you tuning in tonight. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.